Greg Coffin. I'm the music director of Sweeney Todd here at the Denver Center. I'm the guy who uh, kind of oversees all of the music happening. So we figure out how we're going to teach the show to the actors. We figure out, um, you know, what we're using of the orchestration. We figure out in this instance how we're helping Devochka to see uh, how they're going to put their mark on uh, Mr. Sondheim's work. And uh, we're going to take uh, Mr. Schiller through the score, how we, how we went from Sondheim to Jonathan Tunick's orchestrations, the original orchestrations, to Dvochka's orchestrations, uh, and, uh, and Mr. Schiller's place in our pit this morning. Greg, hello. Hey, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Great, Great to see you. You as well. Thank you very much for uh, inviting me in. I'm so excited that we're going to talk a little bit about Stephen Sondheim today. Yeah, a bit of Sweeney. <laughs> So I thought I would take you through a little bit of kind of how we do what we do when we put a musical up and how it differs from doing a play and all of the things you have to think about when you're working on, working on musical theater. Obviously, Sweeney Todd is one of the greatest American musicals ever created. Yes. Uh, but here at the Denver Center, we're adding another layer on top of it by introducing Devochka and you partnering with Devochka in terms of creating all new orchestrations to bring another level to this incredible musical. How do you go about t beginning the conversations with Devochka about this production and how this production is going to be different, nuanced, and, and how do you begin with a blank page? They've been tasked to take the original Jonathan Tunick orchestrations of the show, which are you know famous, mm -hmm. and to put their spin on that idea. So they were given the original orchestrations and they were given blank stabs by me to figure out how they were going to pick and choose what worked in the tunic score and how they could emulate who they were as Dvochka, as musicians, uh, occurring with this score and place all of those themes and all of those ideas all about the score for a pit of nine. As if tackling a Stephen Sondheim piece wasn't tough enough, exactly. we decided we had to reinvent it and we had to bring all new elements to it. All new elements <laughs> to it. So, And then on top of that, with Dvochka, they all play multiple instruments. So here's Tom playing the violin, right? Yep. And then in the middle of something that Tom's playing, he may switch in a song and suddenly from violin, or actually Jeannie's a better example. Look, Jeannie's playing flute here, uh -huh. right? And another song, Jeannie starts off on a double bass, right? So the same staff that is Jeannie all the way through, I wanted to be able to look to say, okay, she's double bass here, then at a certain measure she flips over, and she's not double bass anymore, she's playing, you know, euphonium or whatever she's playing. Wow. So we're able to see in each one how, you know, how Dvochka is switching from instrument to instrument too, all on one line. So this is the piece huh, we're gonna be doing today with you. This morning, we have you in this measure. You're going to be this guy. Well, you know, I, I have so much respect for what you do and what these incredible musicians do. I'm gonna hold my breath and, uh, and, and hope I can uh, make the timing. I have complete faith. <laughs> We're gonna start you guys out on 2B, on song 2B, which is the transition that gets us out of the holy moment and into the pie shop. We're gonna do that because Mr. Schiller is gonna be joining us in the pit for a, for a brilliant moment of percussion. Everybody, this is Scott Schiller. Scott Schiller, this is everybody. Hello, everyone. Great to see you. Let's go back and talk to Sean. All right, let's sounds good. Some, let's meet us some Devon. <laughs> it's one of the things I love about working here at the Denver Center is the, is the huge team that comes together to collaborate to create these amazing things. And having you guys as part of this collaboration is really special for us. So okay. we're going to hear one, two, three, and then is this what we're hitting with, Sean? Sure. Awesome sauce. <laughs> Just give it, give it a good hit. Well, spending the afternoon with this incredible group of musicians has been inspiring for me. As a musical director, it must be great to see sort of what 
Steven Sondheim has created, what Devotchka has created, taking it from a blank page, bringing it to life to the musicians, and then once you're in the pit and the actors on, are on stage, it must be pretty wild as a musical director to see all of that come it's, together. It's wild to watch it all develop, you know, and this is the very beginning part of the, of the orchestration uh, development as it becomes a physical entity in the room. We've been rehearsing with a piano, we've been rehearsing, you know, just with that, you know, small sheet music, the smaller ideas of the show, and now to have that day where we get to hear the full orchestra play, and then it, three days from now, the cast joins them and they get to hear it for the first time. That's going to be amazing. Thank you for inviting me in, and I hope to hear you on opening night. Awesome. <laughs>